Hey guys, Cadams Tech here. So in today's video, I have a lot of content that I'm super excited to share with you all, uh, especially if, for those that are aspiring developers. Um, so and first off, if you're new to this channel, please go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and the bell notification buttons. This will really help uh, the YouTube algorithm to promote my videos and get it out to a wider audience. Uh, but in this video, I have a lot of tips and let's go ahead and get into them. So I know the video may have been a little clickbaity when I said uh, I became a developer in one month. But the truth is, to become a developer, you have to feel it within yourself. You honestly do. It's not, there's not going to be this one person that comes up to you and says, you are now granted, promoted a developer. And they hit you with, uh, they knight you with a sword on each, on each shoulder and do all that spiel. Nobody's going to do that. The point where you become a real developer is when you yourself believe that you're a real developer. When you have learned enough and gained enough knowledge to the point where you say, okay, I think... I can call myself a developer now and start marketing my services, start applying for jobs, start doing all the above. Now, what's the time frame for something like this when you yourself say, I'm a developer? Well, it's different for everyone. Some people, it could be a week. Some people, it could be several years. Some people may never say that they're a real developer, even though they are, but they have maybe really bad imposter syndrome for instance. Uh, so I really believe that entitling yourself developer comes from within. Okay. That being said, what do you have to do to get from being an aspiring developer to become a real developer? The main thing is experience. You need to get experience. It doesn't necessarily have to be with a client. It doesn't necessarily have to be with a job or workplace, what it has to be is you honing the skills that are needed to actually build real things. So if you're doing web, you can't say you're a developer if you're only using HTML and CSS because that's more of a designer, uh, th that's a designer stack. You wanna go HTML, CSS, and then get into a programming language like JavaScript, for instance. If you're doing those, that's when you become a developer because you're using programming languages. You're getting in there. You're doing what real developers do. Okay, and when you can use these technologies and you can build things to show and things for people to use, you're a developer. You are a developer. So believe it or not, many of you are probably developers right now and you don't even know it. Do yourself the justice and call yourself a developer, okay? Because it may empower you and it may get you on that journey and put that fire in you to push even harder and to, and to live up to uh, the standard that developers should try and live up to. How long did it take me to, to claim myself as a developer? I would say at the one month mark is when I started thinking, I'm a developer, I'm gonna try and do whatever I can to land my, jo my first job as a developer and see what I would want to pursue uh, using programming, as you know, using programming languages. What path do I wanna pursue? Do I wanna pursue game development? Do I wanna pursue AI? Do I wanna pursue, pursue mobile development? Do I want to pursue web development? And for me personally, I took the web development route. I thought web was very interesting to me. Uh, nowadays, I'm going to expand into other areas such as mobile development. I, I've met a lot of people that seem to be very intimidated or, or scared, or maybe they think they're not smart enough, or maybe um, it's just various reasons. I think, I think the most common are they don't think they're smart enough. They don't think, uh, they don't have the confidence to go with it, to apply for a job and to get in there and put themselves out there. And that's a huge, 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 huge part of breaking into the field. You have to be confident. Even when you're not confident, you should be confident because this is going to really excel your growth. This is going to, it's very psychological. This is going to not only present yourself to others that you know what you're doing, but it's also going to force yourself twice as hard to really um, gain a grasp for what you're trying to do. Like really, so, so for instance, if you're applying for a company and you're not confident, they can, they can feel it. They can feel that presence during the interview process because you may look at the ground during your interview, you may uh, mumble, you may uh, get tripped up when they throw um, questions at you. So you need to come off as confident and you need to try and really believe this yourself. You need to be confident with this because it goes a long way. 
All right, so we covered the confidence section. I can make more videos going into that in more detail, but trying to give you an overview right now. Uh, the other thing I see is people think they're not smart enough. And I want to tell you that you are very smart, that you can do it. And the reason I'm saying this is because there was a point where I felt this. I felt, am I, am I not smart enough for this? Am, I feel very intimidated. You know, software engineer, that sounds like a really fancy title. People are going to be graduating with computer science degrees and stuff where they have to take uh, very advanced mathematical classes and courses uh, like calculus one, two, three, and, uh, and everything like that. Um, and, and, uh, it, it's just where you gain this confidence and where you gain if you're smart enough is actually by building things, by building the real things that people want at their company, at their, at their, uh, their small business, building the real things that they want, the real tangible things, the products. This is what it is mostly when it comes to uh, software development is building stuff for people. They aren't going to test you on how well you did in calculus three. Uh, when they want you to build an email templating uh, product for them that will dynamically insert people's names and companies, etc., they don't care about your Calculus 3 skills, okay? But if you get into some complex game development, then yes, that might come into play. So I'm not going to entirely say that it's useless. But as for me, I don't have a bachelor's degree. I was pursuing a software development degree, but I don't have the bachelor's degree. I actually, uh, in high school... I, uh, I didn't complete high school. I uh, dropped out before, during my senior year, and then I got a GED uh, as some of my classmates were still in high school. So I actually started the college path as my classmates who were making really good grades uh, were still in high school. But that's a different subject. I'm just telling you that you don't necessarily need a bachelor's degree. And what you need most importantly is the skills. And the more you develop these skills and hone these skills, the more your confidence is going to grow. The more you thinking yourself isn't smart enough is going to grow. Because when you gain these skills, it's going to really empower you. It's going to show you, I can build stuff. I can really, really build stuff and I can help people. Okay? So you got to put those skills to the use. But then once you learn those skills, that's not enough. That's not enough. You have to actually put yourself out there whether that means applying for a small company, an enterprise company, uh, uh, freelancing, and just walking into a store and saying, hey, I could build your website for you, something I've done, something that actually worked, um, and various other avenues. But I'm telling you, these are the two most reasons why people will not call themselves a developer. And the sooner you can conquer these reasons, the closer, the closer you will be to entitling yourself and bestowing that amazing title of developer. Hey, you, do you call yourself a developer yet? If you don't, what's the reason? Why do you not call yourself a developer? If the reason is because you think that you don't have the skills, then I will 100% tell you that you need to get in and hone those skills. You need to put in a good three, two to three hours a day would be good. But I mean, it depends how aggressive you want to get. If you want to, if you really want to land your first developer job sooner, then you're going to have to put time into honing those skills, a lot more time. But if you want, you know, several years down the road, you don't have to be as aggressive. You don't have to put in two or three hours, four hours, five hours a day. But uh, if you want to, you know, so calling yourself a developer is something that I believe comes from within. It's nothing that someone's going to walk up and they're going to knight you on your shoulders for and say, you are now a developer, like I said before. Is the reason you don't call yourself a developer because you lack the confidence? Well, think about why. Why do I lack the confidence? And I think it usually comes back down to the skills. If you have the skills, your confidence really does grow. I, I felt it because you're able to help more and more people with, with various tasks the more skills that you learn for development. If you learn more HTML tags, say for instance, so you know what an A tag is in HTML. If you don't have that knowledge, you won't be able to show someone how to create a link. But if you do, and someone asks you, hey, how do I create a link? This will make you feel confident because you know how to. You can show them. If it's a, you have the skills thing, you have plenty of skills or a good, uh, sufficient amount of ability, but you lack the, uh, you, you, you think, you put yourself down and you say, I don't know if I'm smart enough to do this. That's gonna weigh you down. You need to overcome that. How are you gonna overcome that? How are you gonna say, I think I am smart enough to do that? I'll tell you how, is you build projects. 
try and find a friend, a family member, you know, an uncle, a sister, an uncle's nephew's cousin's brother's sister, if you want to, and build something for them. This will make your confidence grow. This will make your, your ability to say, I think I'm not smart enough. It'll make you feel as if you are smart because people are going to be calling you smart. They're going to say, you're so smart. I can't believe you built this. Or you're so smart. I uh, Thank you so much for building this for me. And it's going to, it's going to pay off. Now, will you be working alongside several smart people in this industry? Absolutely. You're going to be working with several people that are super duper duper smart. But guess what? If you're working there with them and amongst them, you're very smart yourself. You, you right there. You're smart yourself because you're amongst those smart people. This is something that I had a little bit of time. Uh, I had to take a little bit of time uh, processing when I first started working is, well, I'm working with all of these smart people around me and I don't know if I'm smart enough. But the truth is you're one of them. You are one of them. So those are my tips. I hope uh, this wasn't too clickbaity of a title, but honestly, this title of developer comes at various points for different people and it all amounts to how much hustle and bustle, how much you're willing to grind, how much you're willing to turn over leaves and gain new skills and gain the confidence and gain uh, the smarts. And it just, it, it amounts to all of that. I, I could go into a lot of detail for each one of these points. Let me know if any of you would like me to in a separate video. Uh, also leave comments down below. Do you consider yourself to be a developer? And please remember to like, subscribe. I have a lot of content coming out for you guys soon. Share, your, share this with your friends, family, or anyone that you know is interested in development. Really mean a lot to me. Be sure to check out my other videos, and thank you all so much once again.